Hello once again and today we're going to be taking a look at the V Best Life DDR3 Interface Adapter Card Laptop Memory to Desktop Memory Interface Transfer Card 200 to 240p Converter Adapter Card Why do Amazon make their um, titles of items so long? Basically DDR3 laptop RAM to DDR3 desktop to a desktop computer now this is only going to be an half review and I'll tell you why in a minute um, now RAM is expensive at the moment um, and I wasn't going to buy no RAM anyway but I've got a couple of sticks of laptop RAM about um, I was asked to have a look at a laptop, but I couldn't fix it. It was something internally wrong with it. The screen wouldn't come on, and when you power it up, nothing will happen. So I don't know what was wrong with it, but I said to the person, I can't fix it. What do you want me to do with it? And he told me to throw it away. So I did. So what I did was take out the hard drive and the RAM. The rest was pretty useless, so that got binned. So, I've got some laptop RAM. Excellent. So, what can I do with it? Oh, look, there's these converter sticks that you can get. Yeah, there's only one problem. This is DDR3. Me thinking, oh, I've got some memory around. Here we go. A stick of laptop memory. Go and try and put it in. Oh, dear. Look. The notches don't match up. This is not DDR3 RAM. This is actually DDR RAM. Not being knowledgeable on laptops, because I tend to stay away from them. I've only ever owned one laptop in my lifetime, because I don't like them. Um, you might like them. To me, they don't serve much of a purpose, because I like to upgrade things. And with laptops, you can't really do that. Um, only RAM and hard, di hard drives or upgrade to an SSD drive. You can't really do a great deal with them. But for someone that doesn't upgrade a lot and you haven't got a lot of room, a laptop will be ideal for you. They're just not ideal for me. That's why I stay away from them. I don't like laptops, as I said, I only owned one. That's only because I bought it off my friend for cheap. Then I ended up selling it anyway. Um, but what did I really do to that laptop? I upgraded the R drive to an SSD drive. That's it. That's all I could do to it. Um, yeah, as I said, this is a half review because I can't demonstrate it. So. If you can find any DDR3 RAM out there, and you've, well, if you, I've what shall I say, if you've got any spare DDR3 RAM that you can't do nothing with, if you might have had a whole laptop taken it apart, and you want to upgrade the RAM in a standard PC, because RAM is quite expensive at the moment, so this will be an ideal solution if you've got spare a DDR3 laptop RAM, which I think is also known as so dim. Yeah, if you've got any so dim DDR3 laptop RAM and you want to put it in your PC, then this little thing will be the ideal solution. These are pretty cheap. This only costs about £3 something, but they've gone up in price now. Um, but there is alternatives out there. These are pretty cheap. I've seen them for about £5, and that is a lot cheaper than buying RAM. So, as I said, it's a good alternative. If you um, don't want to spend RAM, if you've got spare DDR3 laptop RAM about, get this. I mean, especially if you've got like a 4 gig of RAM or 2 gig of RAM. Unfortunately, I have here, but obviously I'm not knowledgeable about laptops because I stay away from them. I thought it would be alright, but then obviously I'm matched up the notches and they don't fit because this is... DDR 
DDR RAM, DDR1 RAM, I later found out. So, waste of money. But oh well, I'll, I'll <laughs> I won't be making that mistake again because I, as I say, I'm not going to go out and buy a stick of DDR3 laptop RAM just so I can use that because the RAM is quite expensive and for it doesn't justify how much I paid for this which was about £3 something, 89 I think when I bought it but there you go anyway, I'm going to end this now thank you so much for watching, Till next time and goodbye